Hey guys, Osman here. Maynard's One Retaliation War Recap Part 4. I think we left off on base 14. So we'll pick it up on 15. We get to see some of the Skyrim guys now. Um, Cone Nixon here is going to do a hog attack with a queen walk. Um, Konix and Skyrim Avenger. Not sure how long he's been there. He was one of the more active lads in like group me and during the war he was really involved. And I can see why he wanted to show his skills. This attack was pretty sexy in the end. So he's walking his queen. I think he's gonna try and just take her up north. Not sure really what he was trying to eliminate with it, but any defenses that go down on that side. There's a few sort of bomb spots that she gets here. Attack didn't take too long, well, three minutes. Three minutes with a like a full on queen walk isn't too bad. The fact they added that thirty seconds. Now you can you can just put her down with healers and let her go for 30 seconds. She'll take out a third of the base. And then at least when you start your proper attack, you just got a lot less to deal with. So you send in three hogs to pull the CC. CC is Barb's, Valkyries, and Loons. Sorry, Barb's, Wizards. One Valkyrie and some Loons. Um, Wizzy is clopped the healers and they nearly went down it's a nightmare I have dragons lock onto my healers all the time absolute nightmare so he's put his golems down at 10 o'clock two golems in some whizzies to create a funnel the king's gonna go straight in and get straight onto that queen not sure if he's gonna jump in there yes Jump spell down, Rage King, Queen's Beat. He's gonna get um, a Tesla and an Archer Tower for that as well. His other Golem is gonna end up going up and sort of meeting up with the Queen, which is ideal. It's gonna tank sort of from 11 o'clock and it's got a Wiz behind it. So I don't know if that was planned, but that's fantastic. At this point, he's now sending in Hogs on the bottom. Uh, the Tesla, sort of half Tesla farm has got no chance against all those hogs. And he's just healed everything the whole time they've been in the base. They've been under heal. And I think the rage spell that he probably had for his queen in case she got in trouble wasn't needed. Raged hogs are awesome. Um, so the hogs are going to take down the king. The queen's going to help. And it's just clean up. That was a sexy attack. The Skyrim guys were pretty frustrated, I think, in the um, two farm wars that we did. When we met those two farm alliance, farm war alliance clans. And the first one didn't really change too many bases for us. The second one was alright and changed a few, but they were still shit bases. And I think a lot of the Skyrim guys didn't take it as seriously as they could have at the very beginning and then we set up this arranged war and sadly just numbers wise it was only a 25 25 the guys that did get invited to it ended up being fantastic um, it's a shame we couldn't get more into this one like I said I'm gonna go over there with my mini town hall 10 I think Shortly and do some wars I really enjoyed sort of the collab aspect of the two clans mixing. Um, we did it over the Christmas period so it was pretty tough activity wise, you know, people are busy with family. And as much as people have time off over Christmas they're not always doing video games. So this is Wolo Shion 42, uh, another Skyrim Avenger. He's gone in, this is basically a max attack sort of a max attack 
Wolo does a couple of attacks in this war that absolutely baffle me because he just completely disrespects the queen. Um, so he's earthquaked in, he's taken out some AD, he, you know, he's tanked that bottom bit, he's done the damage he needs, and he just sends in hounds and loons. And he does this on his second attack that I show later on. So all the defenses up top go down, he's not got many loons left at all. He's still got some golemites and a couple of hounds. Pops are cleaning up. Loon's already cleaning up. The only thing standing in his way is that Archer Queen. I believe she's like a level 24 Archer Queen. And now, two hounds, one hound, straight in on top of her, and she's toast. Um, balls of steel, is all I can say. Interesting way to take care of the Queen. I've seen quite a few people sort of spam um, what do they call it? It's like a five hound attack. The name has completely slipped my mind. Penta. Penta la Lune. And then you expect the, um, the pups or whatever to take out the queen. And it's kind of a, if you've got a hero down attack strategy, works quite well. Wolo seems to just do this for fun. And successfully. Next one is Jagger Bombs, uh, Crystal Warrior. He's been in CW for a while, long while. Um, 21, 21 heroes. He's gonna walk a 21 queen, which is perfectly acceptable. I've seen queen walks work with queens as low as 15, so I wouldn't let it put you off. You just need to be a little bit smarter with the spells and what you're gonna take on. He's gone straight into a Tesla farm here and that golem's taking all the damage, Queen's just gonna clean up. And if you can get the golem back in with the Queen under heal it's perfect. CC pull, poison spell goes down. Uh Wizzies and Loons. Again, and he's put down a few minions up top to sort of create a funnel. And I reckon we are going to see the CC and the King hit. He's probably going to wall break in there, kill the Queen. And he's got a surgical lined up. Three giants, 19 hogs. I don't know if those are clean up with yet or not. But two jump, sorry, two heal spells. Two poison spells. God, I cannot speak. Two heal, two rage, one poison. Um, and there's still an absolute ton of space here for double giant bombs. Don't think he's hit anything yet that would um, alleviate that pressure. Pretty sure this was a fresh hit from Jaeger. I'd have to go back and check. So he sends in, what was that, 12 hogs? He's going to heal them up. This is going to be a double giant bomb, so he's probably going to catch bacon now. It was a double giant bomb, but he didn't catch bacon. He um, single tripped that. So all those hogs survive. He's got Skelly, he's going to pop on there. There's probably another double here in a second. He's poisoning the Skellies. No, single. He's absolutely crushed that base. All his hogs up, cleanup's easy. Two swag rage spells. Nice one, Jaeger. On to 18, this was me, this was fresh. Uh, nobody called this base for like 18 hours of war and I said fuck it, I'm gonna hit it. And it's a dip-ish, because I'm a 9.5. Uh, thought process was just hammer it with three golems, loads of whizzies. I'm gonna get the enemy queen quite easily just wall breaking in. Um, CC is sitting sort of in that dead spot so I'll pull that as and when things advance. 
uh, golem pops out. I'm not sure why I drop a poison on the golem, it's not really going to do much damage anyway, but I didn't have much use for the poison after that. So I just hit the ability on the king, a couple of whizzies with him, golem goes down pretty quickly. Um, jump spell, pretty wasted. I wanted that Tesla to die. The jump was originally meant for where the queen's hitting. So we're gonna hit on a wall right now, but nothing went where it was supposed to. Um, got Izzy's up north just doing damage. Still have a golem up with the king. Queen has taken down the third air defense, and now it's just pretty much two hounds. Loons in on each defense, and as you'll see again, I love to spam my spells. Um, these guys had a few bases set up like this where there was sort of quad whizzies, whizzy towers, and like Teslas either in with them or around them, and generally a few skellies. Well, I wasn't sure what to expect on this base, but. As a dip, it it was what it was. I didn't feel that it was going to be in too much danger. I had a real strong feeling I'd get three ADs with my kill squad. And I mean, I've still got a golem up, lost my queen, and a hound that didn't pop. Anyway, apologies, loan. Sorry to dip. Uh, next one is in the next video. Part 5 coming up would be the last one. Hope you guys stick around for it. Cheers, bye.